Hello lovely people, welcome back to Ravi's Focus Hive. Today we are going to talk about confidence. If you have not already subscribed, then please go ahead and subscribe this channel. Hit the bell button so that next time I put a video, you get an update. There's a reason why I'm wearing this colorful specs today and I'll tell the reason towards the end. And uh, coming back to the topic of the day, confidence. What makes us confident or not confident? Or what makes us perceived as a confident person or not? That's the discussion today. And uh, so far I always say it's a discussion but I'm the one talking and most of you are listening one or two person is just commenting on the videos so I urge each one of you to come and be part of my discussion I've been part of support all my career and while we join the support teams we are given training and a big part of the training goes into confidence building so you, you join any, any organization, they teach you what they do, they teach you what products that you're going to support, and then they also teach you how you should support those products. And they empower you with different tools, different technologies, knowledge bases, videos, whatnot. <coughs> and they also give you a lot of uh, hand-holding and help and a lot of training goes in. And the whole idea of those training is to ensure that when you are on call with the customer you are confident of what you are suggesting the customer to do that's the bare minimum right and the reason is the person on the other side of the phone they need to believe you what you're telling them to do is the right thing to do to solve the problem that they have reported. If you're not confident of what you're saying, nobody's gonna buy it. They're just gonna come back and question you. Why should I do it? Can you explain me more? Give me someone else and all kind of BS, right? So bottom line is you gotta be confident. And how do you get confidence? You get confidence by knowing what you are doing. And uh, how do you know? Simple question, difficult to answer. Why? Because you got to put that hard work to know about what you want to do, how you want to do. All of that takes effort, right? Now, simple question. What is confidence? Very simple question. What is confidence? Confidence is a state of mind that lets you believe that no matter what, you will still be able to achieve the goal. That's confidence it's not a recipe it's state of your mind so if you feel that you're not confident then you're not confident if you feel you're confident then you are confident now the word feel is important because you will not feel confident unless you get the real feeling from within and how will you get that real feeling from within is when you have put an efforts to get that feeling right now there are people who would feel not confident because of the way they look because of how much weight they carry because of how their hair looks 
because of they're wearing a broken shade. There are so many things that they that makes us not feel confident. And all these external things that doesn't make us feel confident can still be ignored if you have worked hard to prepare for that presentation and you know what you're going to deliver and you you can still go and rock that presentation by the content that you deliver the emotions that you put in that delivery of content and nobody is going to notice your broken specs believe me all they're going to focus on what's coming out of your mouth what are you presenting on the screen and that my friend is called hard work at action so what i'm trying to tell you is if you have a talk tomorrow if you have an exam tomorrow if you have your viva tomorrow if you have an interview tomorrow prepare for it today you won't get the job if you look amazing unless you're going for modeling and again they also look for confidence so the actual thing is if you you need to know the subject that you're going to deliver you need you need to know about things so for example if if you have if you're in school you're studying something and tomorrow you want to get confidence uh that if while you're sitting in your classes if there are questions that are being prompted by your teacher you should be able to just raise your hand and say i'm i'm the one going to answer it and how do you get that confidence is you've prepared for that chapter a day before which means you've just skimmed through the chapter you've read a little bit about the chapter and to in today's world there's so much available online i mean if you're studying about certain things in your books you don't have to spend half an hour one hour reading that chapter you can just google those cha- those topics that are there in that chapter watch some of the videos 10 minutes 2 minutes 5 minutes videos and you're done for the next day if you're if you're doing that if you put that in in your practice every day you will increase the level of confidence that you have every day believe me that has given me the strength because i was in a situation where i used to avoid eye contact and today i'm making eye contact with the camera not knowing who's going to watch it i am super confident when i'm doing presentations I love doing trainings. It just gives me that immense pleasure of talking to people when I am in in an arena and I have 20 30 people listening to me. When I'm doing trainings, presentation, team meetings, whatever. Eye contact is super important. And that's te- that's what tells us that you are confident if you're making that eye contact. with the person you're talking to so guys and girls very simple you got to work hard to get the knowledge of the subjects that you're going to talk about and that's what will give you the feel from within the feel good from within and that will give your mind the framework that will set your mind with positivity and if your mind is set 
that it is feeling good, you will be confident. And that's what I wanted to tell you today. Confidence is not some magical substance that you can drink out of a golden chalice. Confidence is hard work put together in your mind and a feeling that you believe in yourself. Connect this video with the last video that I shared with you guys. And it's so powerful. It'll make you invincible. Thank you so much for watching me. See you next week. Bye-bye.